There is no meme. This is just a threat. Red Reconnaissance. All oh, right, I love Two Fort. Hey, welcome back to Bloodlines. Last time we got bailed out by a crit, and you know what? I'll take surviving only off of God's good graces. Oh, look at all those green people. Finally, we've entered Amphret Castle. Amphret, the capital of Poloi. It is sm uh, 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 let me try that again. It is the most urban area in the territory, and certainly the richest. Tyrant, my boy, what do you think of the inside of this? I don't... I don't care about what you two have to say. Uh, okay, here we go again. You three are close friends? You seem completely different. We are, but their youthful energy keeps me from feeling old. They're the sons I have yet to have, I suppose. And now my first. Yeah, see, Brahm's right. Name and purpose. I am Bram, sword fighter. I've said Bram and Brahm. I don't know how that A is supposed to be pronounced, so I'll just keep pronouncing it both ways to piss off everyone. I bring a message regarding the recent incidents in his domain. I'm also delivering this parcel under the mayor's request that I delivered to the Duke personally. Ah, I see. We've been told of your pending arrival. Welcome. Please wait here. I shall notify Duke Loyus at once. That guard is the third one to ask that exact question. Feels like security around here is pretty tight. I feel the same way. Hmm. Well, anyways, and thoughts completely unrelated to that. Delivering this material reminds me of the post bird days. If I were you, I'd still do on the side. I mean, I still do it here and there. The pay's still decent. But honestly, Lady Sadi's, uh, generous bodyguard pay was a bit more than I was expecting. I'd say. After all this fighting, we deserve it. Yeah, give us the money. Put, put the money in my hand. The rich people gave us their riches. That's what I wanted. The, there should be no rich people. There should be rich person. Me. Greetings! Armor Knight! Armor Knight! Armor Knight! Beautiful! I've never been inside a human castle. It's so... not designed for flight. What are they like in Volupris? They're huge and exposed to the outside. You can hardly describe it. It's really something you need to see for yourself. You're, I know what bird castles look like. I've played Shining Force 2. Greetings! I am Lord Rowell, son of Duke Loyus. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is ours, thank you. Oh my god, it's Mr. Clean. Ah, the band of mercenaries who trekked all the way from Departed just to see me. I say I'm surprised. Those of your ilk are usually not so compassionate for their fellow men. Alright. Not something that needed to be said, but okay. Here, but if you know what happened, did he also tell you about the request I made? about the recent attacks in the surrounding hamlets there. I received them. Bandits are free to raise anywhere they please. The Valgriff with me led the small militia in the fight in Departa. His partner suffered bad injuries. We need help. And so do others dozens and dozens of villages. Uh, 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 as do the other dozens and dozens of villages and towns in the area. But I will not supply troops there. Councilman's life was threatened. If Departa gets attacked again, the villagers themselves will need to take up arms. You're telling them that their lives don't matter. And it's that very same councilman's job to protect his territory. If Departed's people are struggling, it is of his failures, not mine. If you lot believe that throwing Kingdom soldiers at this problem will solve it, then neither of you truly understand what's really happening. But I would expect no less from sellswords like you all. You may take this gold and hire some extra hands yourself, but I must warn you, mercenaries and soldiers, might I add, may turn a blind eye for a heavier pocket. Hold on, what do you mean by- Yeah, explain something to us. Oh, deal with the Red Luster. The Brigands are one thing. The Zealots are an entirely new ordeal. One that cannot be solved by throwing men at it until it goes away. Okay. So here's the thing. You're correct. Nothing's going to get solved until we deal with the Red Luster. That's fair. Alright. Why don't you also defend the people with, from the brigands while dealing with the Red Luster? You can do both! You... 
You don't have to put- You can protect innocence. While also... Dealing with the problem. Come on, man. Yeah, literally, we beat the Red Luster with a fucking dog. But what do you do? I'd like to make an offer. You hire us to find the information we succeed we need, and if we succeed, you send a few soldiers to depart in Newwood. What is it you hope to find? I've had a time to reflect on our last battles on the way here. There's a pattern. They before they prefer coordinated surprise attacks over conventional battle, which means they do a lot of prep work before they strike. If we figure out what their next move is, you'll have the edge instead, and hit them where it hurts. And if you fail, why should you care? You're not losing any of your own. We'll even take payment afterwards. If it works, we win. If we don't, you still don't lose. And where do you hope to procure said information? Do you know something I don't? We know where their hideout is. We have information the knights aren't supposed to know. Woo! Two days! We really brought the dog to see the ca A convoy! Thank you. Okay, this is happening. Hi. Eesh, sound a little sheepish. Not surprised, though. You were talking to THE Premier Merchant in Anfrin, after all. Premier Merchant? What do you mean? D doy what do you think? I'm the best merchant ever? Most famous weapons dealer in the country? Most renowned sales bean in all the lands? Broker and the Beast? Well, that one's still being workshopped. You'd think you'd hear of someone like that in the Postal Service. Are you pulling hoof? It's me, Daphne the Dealer. THE Dealer. As in, THE BEST Dealer. Of goods, services, business, deals. Now, can we move this along? Ooh, now look who's sounding insistent. We never said- See here! You're all mercenaries now under the employ of the kingdom. That means you mean business. Who's doing your accounting? Inventory? Catalog? Hold on. What if this was like, a New York, Brook uh, Brooklyn car dealer here? Cataloging, archiving, filing, inventory, statements, tax write-offs. You said invent. It's better we don't correct her. Come on! Just hire me already! If you don't believe me, I've done tons of work for the Duke. I'm in these castle halls, aren't I? Do you see any other merchants here? Bram, we are running out of hands to hold our weapons and items. Mm, what's your fee? 10,000 gold! There is no way I'm paying that. No? 5,000! That's a lot less than 10. Thank you, Malcolm! For the brilliant math. 4,000! Until we get paid, we're also broke. Hey! I am not broke! If we succeed in our mission, I'll give you a cut of the back pay. Think you can take care of our gear until then? Because otherwise, I'm walking. We have other offers. What? What? No way! Already? Okay, okay, you have the deal. Good to have you. I'm Malcolm. This is Brom. He doesn't talk very much. Let's have a chat outside. Yahoo! <laughs> and that is how you close a deal. You literally just got finessed. We're not paying you anything right now. Milady, I have returned with the information you sought after. That was quick. No trouble for you, then. These particularly earthly humans are so easy to spy on. So no, not at all. Now then. Tomorrow night, Ordis plans to sneak into this complex and find the Red Luster's schemes for your next attack on Amphrit. His friends are posing as members to squeeze details out of us as well. How covert. He's running into the belly of the beast. He and his group are outnumbered. And they're not experienced in this espionage. One of them will slip up. I bet it's Dewey. Dewey's gonna spill the beans. Oh, Ordis, you are so impatient. Kyla, here's what I need you to do. So, I've been told that you both want to join the organization. My name is Sirion. I'm a recruiting officer here. So tell me, why do you want to join us? Name's Cassidy, from Port Amcrimway. I hate the kingdom. I don't care about us. We need to topple the kingdom once and for all. Joining the Red Luster is my last chance to make him change and protect my family. Listen, you're not passionate enough. None of your speech had an exclamation point. 
Like, passion needs exclamation points. I can handle a lance. Whatever you need me to do, I'll do it. I promise. We get a lot of recruits from Port and McRae. And you? Enzo. I'm from Departa. I witnessed the recent attack on the councilman's building. I thought about joining them then and there, but I didn't know who to speak to, so I stayed back and watched from afar. And Father Herb was an old friend of mine. I want to avenge him. Is it? How come? Our field reports say that the mission is missing key details. Specifically details of the enemy's group who arrived unexpectedly. If you can help us identify, if you can describe any of the militia's missing fighters from our account, then that would greatly help us. And in turn... Oh, he's gonna snitch! Oh no, he's not gonna snitch. He's gonna, like, false snitch, probably. Be like, ah, yes, the person that killed you was a swordsman named... Robert, and his dog, Duford. I found something. It's about time. These are records of the Red Luster's past attacks in Poloi. They're dated a ways back. Keep looking. If we found their past work, then their future plans should be... Right here. This is weird. We're staring right at the important documents, yet no one was guarding the stairs leading up here. Is that suspicious? Yeah, but check this out. I mean, yeah. You're completely 100% factually correct. But anyways... Yeah, but check this out. They're planning something huge not long from now. Someone's coming. Grab the papers, I'll get the door. <laughs> Knocked him out. Whew. The intruders! We're being attacked! Damn it, there was a second guy. I'll try to shoot... I can't see anything in this pitch dark. He got away. Yes, seriously. I'm a crow, not an owl. I'm not night vision. What do we do now? Run from where we came from? The screams are from over here. To the negotiation room. Get the guards. Sound the alarm. Sir, sir, we're being attacked. There are outsiders upstairs. They attacked Phil. Not Fillmore. Fucking it, a golly. Fucking a golly. This is Red Luster Base. You're surrounded from all directions from the outside. Lower your weapons, let my allies go, and maybe our leader might take pity on you. No, we're going to kill them all. So he seems to actually care about his men. <laughs> Got any bread on you? What kind of question is that? Quit posturing, you have 10 seconds. <sighs> oh god. But were they just hide how can you just hide Oh, they're behind the they were behind the barrel and the pillar. I see. Chapter battle time. I'll fire the signals, two flaming arrows for help. That was thrilling to say the least. Spike this. What would happen if they were dead? Actually, no one's... The only person that's died in this... Wait. You know, Tyrant died for me. What happens if someone dies in this scene? Hold on. I went to take a drink of my drink. Did she just say the dung flinging wars? Take those barrels and block all the entries. Okay. Oh, barrels are green units, and I shove them. Oh! Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Which means Agali is useless, because he can only... No, he can pull from over there. And then someone can shove. And then... Oh! That is interesting. Oh, but I want to go out. There's a chest there. Chests have money in them. Okay. No, I can, I can, I can handle these things. Alright, so here's the thing. Um. There we go. Uh, trade... The slam patch is an elixir. 
That should go on... Probably the guy with the most health. Um... Yeah, you give her the heal. An Iron Lance for Frankie. And then the Iron Bow for Malcolm. And then the Torch for you. Yeah, there we go. That's right, Fortune! Oh, just rank. How is my survival so low? No one's died! Unless, like, I missed a recruit? Or it's just bugged and I shouldn't be listening to it. Anyways. Alright. I think... Yeah, okay. I think we're good to start. Alright. Oh, this is a nice track. I like this! Alright, oh, there's the boss. Oh, no. Oh, but I want the boxes. Ooh, a chest key. Oh, okay. So I don't have to send him up there. I can send him over here. Well, well whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Pull that over to there. Um... Push that. Uh, you push that. And then you push that. And then you, guess what? You push that. And then you get over there to help him. You also get over there to help him. And you just stay close enough to do anything. Okay. Alright. I can, I can do, this is really cool. I like the idea with the barrels. That is a really cool idea. Ah! You're getting nowhere quick. Oh god, he can double barrels. We're fucked. We're fucked. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's start with this. Yes. Ow. Oh, I forgot to use the rat tail. Whoops. It's okay. Not like hit rates are important. I've never missed an attack in my life. <laughs> When's that ever happened? I honestly wonder if I could just put Frankie right here. Hmm. Okay. And you go up, and with Void, you can just straight up kill this guy. Awesome! Yay! Alright, um... Can anyone reach that pillar? No, okay. Yeah. And with that right there, you'll go and try to hit him. You won't be able to reach. Yeah. And, with the longbow, Malcolm can have himself a fun little time dealing with those bitches. Perfect, perfect. Um, I don't know what really to do with Bram. So, I'll do nothing. Well, maybe I can, like, put him right here, I, I guess. Uh, maybe if I put Frankie right here with the javelin, something will attack her instead of a barrel. Okay. Alright, things are going to a good start. Alright. Tyrant is just gonna be a dodge tank. Because, by God, being right next to a pillar greatly increases your speed. Oh, 
Okay, so they're much more interested in the barrel. God. Unless they literally can't hit the barrel? Which makes sense. Ooh, anima weapon level increased. Cool. Oh no. The wall. Oh, now Malcolm's getting attacked. This really matters not at all. Very good, very good. Other phase. Okay. Hey. <laughs> yeah. That's a barrel. Alright. Um, what do you have equipped? Iron Lance 16. Well, regardless, is I, I can kill you. There we go. Malcolm through the wall. And more bow weapon level. Cool. Really can't move that much farther with Tyrant just yet. Okay, you can just continue killing. Very good. Excellent. Hmm. I, I just realized that I gave her a torch, and then I proceeded to not use the torch. I am a clown. Just an absolute buffoon, I gotta admit. Let me pull you back. And then you. Yes! Perfect! I'm doing strategy! And I gotta, gotta level up. And right, what do you got for us, my mans? Nothing. Great. Cool. Okay, we are doing good things down in the bottom here. Thomas, what the fuck do I do with Bram? Hmm. Well, how badly does this look? Very. We're not doing that. Um, maybe I want to illuminate the down here instead? Alright, so the barrel isn't going to last much longer. This is slightly concerning. But manageable. I just got rid of one of you! You missed a barrel! How do you miss a barrel? It's a barrel! Alright, alright, well... Okay, well, we can... We can make this work. Oh dear, okay, so that barrel has fallen. Did I hear what I think I just heard? Oh dear. Well... Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we appear to have a problem. A fairly sizable problem, in fact. How do I deal with the uh oh up there? I don't really have many ideas. But I can figure it out. I didn't mean to do that! Fuck. 
That, that's not good. Well, I mean, let's heal up you. She got strength before magic. Good to hear, good to hear. I wonder what her chances of dodging an attack are. That's not worth trying. But, what if there was an off chance where it was? What if? Um, and then Malcolm... Yeah, you can just kill. I have definitely engaged in something that was not the smartest. But I'm going for it anyway. Because I've already fucked up with that dude. So, like, why not? Why not just fuck up even more? Yeah, so you do definitely move. Alright, dodge! Ow. Okay, so neither of you are going to double the other. Now, is this going to kill her? Yes. Alright! Well, I made a bit of a fucky wucky. But it's manageable. Wait a minute. I totally could. No, this is completely manageable. Because what I actually need to do. Oh, really? You don't double him? What is your speed, Malcolm? Uh, yeah, your speed is 8. Oh, he doesn't get weighed down. Oh, that's not... Yeah, no, that... Mm. He actually does take more damage from her. But if I give her... A, um... The green tea... Then she should take less damage from him. Yes. And then rather than having Brom fuck around up here and doing nothing, I immediately send him up to over here, and then he helps. Yes. So, oh yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs>